Hi everyone. Okay, so this is continued from the last example. So now we want to determine the last payment amount if we use the third method. That means if paid at t is equal to 14.207. So remember that the 14 payments are not enough to pay off $10,000. 15 payments are too much. So if we use BA2, that we get 14.207 years. So the last amount is less than $1,000, so we pay off a little early at 14.207, not 15. Think about the timeline of this case. This is very similar to previous example B, but it's more complicated in the sense that we have fractional time point. Present value is $10,000. Repayment amount is $1,000 for year 1 to year 14. Then lastly, we have time point 14.207 and we want to repay the amount Z. Okay, so what is the Z? So again, that we think about the present value on both sides. $10,000 is the present value, and the payments are $1,000 14 times plus present value of Z. Present value of Z is 1.05 to the power negative 14.207 times z. So this is PV of z. If we simplify this, z is equal to 1.05 to the power 14.207 times $10,000 minus $1,000 a right angle 14 at 5 percent. If we use BA2 plus you can immediately get this amount and you can get this is equal to this times 200.68 so this becomes 202 dollar and 72 cents. So remember that if we paid this amount at t is 15, that, th that was $210. So this amount is slightly less than that. We cannot use BA2 cal to calculator because this time point is fractional. Okay, so now you can do quiz 326.4. See you then.